Hey love bugs, it's Rosalyn back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning self and my grown extended beautiful family. As always, thank you so much for the love and support. It is truly, truly, truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been dropping by my, my you know, my channel for a long time and have not already, please drop a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And I hope that you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And today the video that I'm about to do is called Twin Flame 101 Hey Okas. Uh, oh, I thought it was 13 to 14. Oh, Lord. Okay, sorry about that. Um, Twin Flame 101 Hey Okas, during your path of uncertainty will always lead you to break bread with yourself. You know, um, I've, I've heard that saying a lot. You know, growing up. And it's like, you know, you can break bread with anybody. Anybody in the world. You can break bread with anybody. It, it could be your family. It could be your loved ones, your children, your siblings, you know, your co-workers, your friends, your best friends. You know, your 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 homies, you, you know, your aces, your sides or whatever like that. You know, baby mama, baby daddy, wife, you know, husband, whatever. Even your kids. But you know, um, there's a lot of times you go towards that path. We never certain. We're never certain about how our life may be. You know, you may be having a plan for your life to be a certain way, and it turn out to be, you know, something. That it, your life can flip, get flipped up, upside down. It, you know, because I never knew where my life was. You know, I thought I wanted one thing, and then it was just like my. It, it was just like my choices. I was just like, oh my god, I haven't made the best choices in my life. Like, there's a lot of things I'm not proud of. There's a lot of things I was shameful of. You know, a lot of things I was shameful of. But I had to appreciate the person from my choices that I became. You know, I'm not still not sure about where my life is taking me, but I'm trying to take the right routes that I need to better myself. You know, if you know that you're on that vibration of creating the best version of yourself, you know, it, it takes you, you know, there's a lot of times it's going to take you to fall, get back up, fall, get back up, fall, get back up, go through trauma, go through, you know, hurt, go through pain, go through deception, go through, you know, something, you know, go through something because you don't, you're not certain about where your path is leading you because you know a lot of us is just like we feel different you know especially if you're uh, us you know i feel like all of us are empaths in every way you know i feel like all of us are psychic you know there's times where it feels like deja vu be certain times like that didn't i say that or didn't i experience that before you know but there's a lot of people that choose not to use that and that's fine too everybody makes their choices on doing what they want to do and you're going through those different things in your life, you know. And it's just like with my life, I have discovered. And there's a lot of people that may be able to relate to that, resonate with that. You know, there's a lot of times I broke bread even with myself in the wrong kind of way. I made choices just based off of the experience. You know, I, like I said, I don't want to be blaming, you know, my parents and, you know, what my family went through. Because we are breaking generational curses. And the things that we have been exposed to. There's a lot of times where you may have had a good upbringing. And God bless you. Is anybody who's ever been through something and it ain't been tragic. I'm so happy for you. And I'm saying that and not being funny either. Because y'all know I get funny real quick. I act real ignorant if I really wanted to. But you know, us as being hey okas, we be tricksters, we be jokers. But there will be times where you have to be serious. But you don't have to take life so seriously. You know, there's times where you have to give a funny look. You know, not a funny look, but a funny vibe. And a hysterical vibe when there's something really critical that may break you down. There's a lot of times like, wait a minute, let me stop panicking. You know, because, you know, there are certain times where you, you have no choice but to panic. It depends on what it is, you know. Certain things that you, you go through, it can really just throw you, you know, a whole monkey wrench. And you weren't even prepared for that. And a lot of times when you're going through that, you don't realize that that can be a, a uncertain direction that's going to lead you to something bigger. Put it that way. And this is at that point, you know, especially, you know, oh, Lord Jesus. And I know I'm hitting this right on it, right, right on that point. When you go through some spiritual awakening, you can't work normal jobs anymore. You can't be around regular people anymore. There was already probably people around you just look like, what are you saying? What are you talking about? Do you see what that? They're always been weird. You know, they're just like that. You know, they're very eccentric. You know, they're very different. You know, that we're, we've been in that vibration where we're labeled as that. And I don't like labels. But I'm just like, I'm, I'm very out there. <laughs> you know, I'm very out there because there's a lot of times where 
You know, I'm just glad, like, with one of my children, they're on that spiritual vibration where they come to me and they're like, Mom, you know, I'm going through, I can talk to you about this because you've been like that, you know, and I finally got like that, too, because you're like, Mom, that's devilish. I'm like, no, it's not. You just got to get out of that. Get out of that thinking, you know. But there was just choices that I made, just put it that way. And there can be people that resonate with that, like I said, that didn't make the best, the best choices in life. You know, I've had people in my, my, my life that really loved me, you know, really loved me, wanted to see the best out of me. But there's a lot of times my choices, you know, my choices really disappointed them. You know, it's like, Rosalind, you were so much better than this. You know, I've done a lot of that. You know, I've done a lot of that. And it, it's just a lot the, where I'm at now, even where I'm not exactly where I want to be at. And don't, you know, I know something's coming out of that, whatever I'm facing. If you know you're going through, you're going through a lot of different things into your life. And it's always preparing you for that next level. You don't know where that next level is going to be. But if you know you're moving in good intentions, you're seeing everything as an experience of something that you needed to learn. You're not looking at everything in a negative, you know, thing. You're not saying, okay, just because it doesn't happen, it hasn't happened for me yet doesn't mean it's not going to happen. You know, when you're allowing yourself to say, I'm learning. You know, I'm learning. You know, I've had good days. I had bad days. Yes, there's people that hurt me. Hell, there's people I don't hurt. You know, there's people that disappointed me. There's people that, dis you know, I've disappointed. And when you're looking at life like that and, and you're being an open book for that, you know, that's what God wants you to be. That's where universe is being. You know, because I was always that type of situation where so much negative happened in my life. I didn't feel like any happy can come out of that. Even if it was, it was very short. It was very short lived. And it was just the fact that I, I seen the company I kept, you know, it's just like people I could be one on one with. Boy, we don't share some stories about different things that happen in our lives. And it's a lot. And it's not about talking about anybody else. But it's like I can say about me. It was poor choices that I choose to make, you know, because a lot of times when we go through these things and it's not saying that bad about you, but you have to be able to experience those things if you want to get better if you want better in your life you have to experience the bad but you have to be able to appreciate the bad for you to be able to embrace and appreciate that good for you to be able to get that if you didn't go through no bad stuff you would never know what bad looked like unless you went through it if you didn't go through toxic ways where people don't use you then they did this and this and that and the third you know you would never know what that is you a lot of times we break bread with the wrong things you know, we really break bread with the wrong things. and But this is that, that experience that we had to go through to where it's going to, sooner or later, it's going to lead you down that path where you're going to start breaking bread with yourself. You know, I've been with, you know, connected with people that, you know, I, I've been in relations with where it, it was a, a, you know, situation where I was with people with relations, you know, boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever. And then I've been with people where I felt like, you know, oh, that's my sis or oh, that's my bro and this and this and that. And I started ignoring the signs of where I'm saying, uh, no, don't, don't trust those type of people or, Hey, stop being so sherry with that person or, Hey, stop being an open book with that person. Stop leaving yourself wide open like that. Cause you know, those type of people will stab you in the back right when they can get that, you know, can get in that, in that place to fit in, you know, see those toxic relationships you keep bringing into, because it's like, like I said in the other video is, is being able to show you a part of yourself. That's not, you didn't know. You know, because there's a lot of time you breaking bread with yourself, but it may be a negative vibration. You you know, you've been doing negative things. You make negative choices. You've been allowing, you know, anybody and in any energy to step in. And there's a lot of times it's just like when your parents tell you to do something, and you choose not to do it. You be hard headed. And that was me, you know. And then the next thing, you know, I'm like, well, this happened, this happened, this happened. But didn't I tell you not to do that? You know, they ain't telling you because they don't, you know, because parents think they know everything. Because, you know, it's just like you, I had, you know, my children, my oldest one, get, you know, soon to be 30. My youngest one is, you know, going to be 22 this year, you know. And it, it's just like we, we can go through that vibration of where we get at that age. But you don't understand my life. You don't know what I'm going through. You don't understand. Like, you know, we weren't young too we didn't do dumb stuff back in our lives but we get to that stage with every every you know with our parents because we don't tell our parents that too you know you don't understand my life you don't understand me no i like, i may not understand exactly what you're going through through the team but don't think i just because i ain't tell you about it don't think i ain't never experienced it you know and there's times where you have to break bread with the wrong people to show 
you know, where's your love at? Is your, you know, because a lot of times we can be giving out love and that love ain't returned in the same way. But there's a lot of times that we'll disillude what love truly is and not know that that's toxicity, that's codependency that we giving back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. You know, and not understand that. Because it's like, is that bread that you, you know, because sometimes that bread can be not bread, you know, it could be something that's going to get you sick. It, it could be, you know, something. It's like, oh, that's penicillin. Just break it off. You know what I mean? Like, you got them supposed to be like, tear it off. That's penicillin. You know, like, look, no, if I need penicillin, I'm going to go to the doctor for that. I'm not, no. Because this right there, no. Because I, I really feel like that's filtered and, you know, it goes through all these different genetic testings and stuff like that. This is not FDA approved for me. No, I'm not about to do that. But it's just the whole point, you know, being serious, but, you know, be a little bit, you know, comical at the same time. You know, you have to go through these things, you know, and appreciate breaking bread with the wrong people because it showed you what is right and what is wrong, you know, into your life. And it's like, that was that experience. It's just, you know, like they say, you don't suppose to say, okay, this is a bad experience, even though it can really be bad. But this is like, you know what? That person showed me who they truly are and it showed me what I don't want or it showed me what I do want or it even showed me so much about myself and that's what we're doing. You know, a lot of times is the bread that you breaking with them. Is it genuine? You know, coming both ways because a lot of times if you don't love yourself, you don't respect yourself, you don't do this and you're just taking anything, you're not breaking bread with the right thing because you ain't breaking bread with yourself. You know, what you give other people like if you don't love yourself you want to accept anything I was there I was willing to accept anything I settled I felt like this is what if I'm getting it this is what I deserved now I was at that point where I had to go through those experiences in my life and say you know what I'm grateful I went through that because now it's like I'm aiming my standards really high you know Allowing myself to not just welcome anything in. Allowing myself to say no. Allowing myself to not do things by obligations. Allowing myself to sit up here and be unavailable sometimes. Not feeling bad when I don't want to answer the phone. Not feeling bad when I don't want to text you back. You know, want a day to have to myself. And I shouldn't, my change in life should not be an explanation for anybody. You know, if that's some part, if I'm with somebody, and I'm in a relationship with them in that point, then yeah, you have every right to know to a certain extent because there are certain things you have to have, you know, that respect and right to privacy of what they choose to make private into your life. But there is it's just like when I was going through my things, I made very poor choices on who I choose to, you know, entertain. I, I didn't have good boundaries. Even when I felt no, I said yes. You know, I would just allow somebody to treat me anyway, you know. Because it's just like if you, you, you know how they say if you settle, uh, if you don't, uh, what do they say? What is that saying? If you, you know, if you don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything. And that, that goes with breaking bread with anything, you know. Because there will be certain things, you know, I, I, it's just like a lot of times people didn't like me at my job because you'll ask me a question. A lot of times they will be that person. They followed the leader. And I was that type of person. I follow my dad on self. You know, I've, I've been that way when I was back in high school and stuff like that. And wanted to feel like bad is being cool. And I'm like, no, bad can get you locked up or get you dead. I ain't trying to do all that stuff because the little poor choices, stupid choices I did. I played stupid games and got stupid prizes. And I ain't got time for all that, you know. And gone through those things. And now it's just like, even when I got fired from jobs and stuff like that, it was a lot of times because the fact is, number one, it's not saying I wasn't good at my job, but there's a lot of times things happen because my mom was like, girl, you always losing the job. And I used to feel that way. And there was a lot of times where, you know, I call off a lot. I just didn't like it. Or I just felt like, mm, or whatever, I don't feel like going to work today. Or being in somebody's face or them being in my face is more important than me paying a check because I got bills to pay and this and this and that. And it was just at that point when I got past that. You know, and then it was at a point like, you know, I'm doing my job. I'm not calling out. And it's just like it keeps getting hard because that's what universe is saying. I got something destined for you more. You know, you breaking bread with a job that you ain't, you know, you only supposed to be there for a season. 
You know, you're only supposed to be there for a moment. And there'll be different times where I, you know, people call me and I'll talk to them. They're like, Rosalind, I'm kicking, getting, you know, I'm keep getting brought up into this drama at my job. They keep writing me up for stupid stuff. You know, I work hard every day. And then one day I want to lay back and all of a sudden, they're, you know, they really cutting up with me like, whoa, what you doing? This and this and this and that. And it will be at that point. Where it's like universe is like it's showing you so many things. When you you know, and I used to tell people, I used to smoke weed, to go to my job. There'll be times where I used to be addicted to opiates and used to get on my job, you know, just to get deal with it. Because I said if I if I, I if, you know, the only good thing that I was doing, uh, you know, when I was at my jobs, you know, in this current time when I was working, I used to work out a lot because I know you come at me sideways. I'll be ready to let hands with you. I said size and where your corporate ladder or where you are on the corporate ladder just didn't matter with me. Because you came at me sideways, I'll take it to the streets. Inside the building, I'll take it to the streets. There'll be people that were bigger than me because I'm only 5'2". And that, back at that time, I was like a buck old five. I didn't care. They were like, Rosalind, they'll be carrying me away like, Rosalind, that's too big. Uh -uh. Allow them to cross that line. You're going to see where it's at. You know, and it got to that point where, like I said, I was breaking bread with the wrong thing. I was being my own enemy at that time. And it was at that point where Universe was telling you, this is not, you shouldn't have, if you, anything that you have to take something for, you know, if it's not subscribed to you for health wise, or if it, let me not, not say that because there's sometimes I've been at jobs and it could be the devil's den and that mess can be to where I had to take anxiety medicine because I said, you, God, you know how I am. You know, my elevator ain't, you know, ain't all the way going to that 13th floor. It just go one to 2.5 at times. Sometimes if it's on a bad day, go 1.1. You know, my, my radio ain't tuned. Even with the antennas with the foil on it, it still ain't going nowhere. You, you can just, you know, it'd be like that. You already know. It, it goes to 0 to 10 million real quick. It don't matter like that. But if it gets to that point right there, that's where universe and God is telling you you don't need to be there. You need to be somewhere where you love doing what you're doing. Because a lot of times you had to go through those experiences. God's leading you to be your own person. You know, you had to go through the crappy bosses. You had to go through the crappy hours, the crappy pay. You know, you may have had the good pay, but you had to be around crappy people. You had to be to that point where, you know, you got so much, um, you got so much talent. You got so much this, you got so much that. But you had to discover it through breaking bread with the wrong situations where you had to show where that power is. Everything that you're going through, everything that we're going through is helping you discover what is what you really need in your life. It don't matter if, it, if, if it's your destiny, it's your love life, it's your friend life, it's your family life. Because a lot of times people feel like, you know, even when it's toxic in family, I need to be there because that's my family. Everybody got a choice. You know, because I've, I've, I've told people, I don't talk to none of my family. And I'm okay with that. It was the hardest situation I could ever go through. But I felt like, hey... You know, thank God, God gave me that gift where I'm stuck with, the, you know, I, I'm strongly connected to the spiritual world where people have passed on. And I, all the family I didn't know, family that I did know, I talk to them all the time. And that's the best love that I have because it's genuine. It is not anything that has evil intent, control, beat down, using me as a doormat, losing me as a happy, you know, let me, let me beat her down. Let me just kill her you know her 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 vibration you know breaking bread with the most dangerous things you can make choices like that just because you're related to somebody doesn't mean that you need to take you need to be breaking bread with something that's killing your soul to make you kill your worth make you guess your worth you know and these are the things that you know you're experiencing to make you you know uh heighten everything you know be very selective about what you choose to venture off to very very uh you being very strategic and you be, being very solid about what you choose to select the energy the people even your purpose you're, you're going through that you're experiencing those things that um that's making you a better person and all those things you know even when you know because there'll be a time that you're going throughout the job because it's just like a lot of times you know, there's a lot of people I'm connecting with, like Rosalind, either I'm on the verge or am I losing my job or I'm just not liking it or I haven't been with the job. And it's just like God is leading you towards something else. God is, you know, God in the universe is, is, is giving you a structure, they're forming you into something that is, is that's going to take you somewhere to where it's something that you love. It's something that you're, you know, you're not going to see as a job. It's something that... um 
that you're going to be very passionate about, you know, and it's not going to be feel, feeling forced because there could be something you like that minute and you very, very hot about that. And they say, you know, you look long and you're like, man, I don't even want to turn the faucet on for this, you know, and it can be like that. And you're, you're going through different things, but it's just like you, when you, especially when you go through that spiritual awakening, you, you don't, you know, everything that you used to have and all of a sudden it just hit dust or it becomes not existing because it's like you're, you're everything that fell apart. Even right now, it may feel like your life is falling apart because it's like everything that you form to program, to learn, to fear, or you thought is everything is coming down so you can see everything from a clarity of it being real. Whatever it is, whatever God and universe is structuring for your reality to help you mold your own reality because it's like they already, you know, it, it's just like universe is like the guy, I don't want to say puppeteers because that's kind of like manipulating that. I feel like that's a narrative. They're guiding you, you know, towards that because they want you to discover yourself. You're discovering yourself because there's, you don't know who you are. You know, you're going through an experience where you broke bread with the good. You broke bread with the bad. You broke bread with the questionable. Now it's at that point where they're isolating you and you're breaking bread with yourself. Because you had to go through the good. You had to go through the bad. They're telling you don't settle. You know, or, you know, allow yourself to put, know your worth, know your love, you know, being able to say, this is time for my self care and I shouldn't have to be feeling guilty about it. Or there's people that are wanting you to explain why you just don't want to talk. There'll be days that you don't want to be bothered with people. Hell, there'll be days that you don't even want to be bothered with yourself, but you shouldn't have to give no explanation with that. You know, if it's just your job now, I can understand that. It was just like, I forgot what that girl's name is. What is her name? Something, Christine Savannah, where she had a self-care day. And I don't know if that's true or not, but they they put it in the song. And I got to see if it's true or not, because I'm just telling you that allegedly. I don't know for sure if that's a fact. But she made a song called Self-Care. And it was like she had to have a day to herself. You know, and I got to read up on that and see if it's true or not. But I was like, dang, that's leading to something good. Because a lot of times things can go bad. And th that's where it, it led me to that. Where things can seem really bad and you don't realize that can be that turning point, that plot twist to come in very extraordinary. You know, because sometimes you got to just break bread with yourself for a while to be able to see that. You know, and at times it can feel lonely. You know, you may see different things or you may hear different videos. You may even hear hear me hear it, um, say that. Or it can be in your mind where, you know, your higher self is telling you. Sometimes it can be very lonely being with yourself. But that's that time where it's telling you, be your own best friend. Break bread with yourself. You know, see what you want in life. You know, because a lot of times it's just like you being... And God sent me a gift because my nose started tension. You know, it's just like, get me on that thing. Where it's just like, ooh, dad. You know, you're becoming your best friend. When you're breaking bread with yourself, you're being your best friend. Because the fact is, it's just like you get in a relationship. You know, and I've said that before in my life, uh, in one of my videos, or a few of my videos, where, you know, it's like, hey, what you looking for in a relationship? And there'll be times like, hey, I don't know. And then we're like, and some people, especially if they're the ones that ain't even coming in with a good intention anyway, you know, like, oh, dang. So they ain't really expecting that. You're like, wait a minute, you don't know what you want. And it's just like, they can give you anything. And then when they give you anything, and it can be very negative, it's like, hey, you, you kind of left yourself open for that and it is just at that point this is the, that's telling you this is giving you that moment to break bread with yourself what you can see you know what you expect to bring to the table what you see to bring to the table do you see yourself as the whole table you know what you want in life what you want in, what do you expect in a friendship that's being reciprocated what do you feel like with a companionship that's being reciprocated what do you want in your purpose that, that that is being planned for your destiny. These are the things that's telling you. Break bread with yourself. Discover what you want in life. And when when you putting that, you know, that vision down of what you're wanting into your life. Or, you know, they're 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 leading you towards something that they're instilling in your mind. I want you to do this. I want you to do that. And it's just like, how can I do that? I don't I don't have this. I don't have that. It, you know, and you don't a lot of times we don't realize universe can make you do something big with just nothing you know it, it can Kevin Federline you with something you don't step in with nothing like they say if anybody know Cat Williams don't say they don't Kevin Federline your butt now like, what is that now came into nothing and made it something and you can do that just because God don't feel like you got to be a millionaire or you got to be on a fixed income or a budget when he asks you to do something he's just telling you hey this is going to be your life but how am I going to do that you'll find out I'm going to guide you 
You know, and when we start being, because a lot of times we we don't welcome change. Change, because I mean, there's a lot of time I didn't welcome it. I ain't even gonna lie. I hated change. But then it's just like change can be exciting. It's all about you choose to look at it. You know, a lot of times we're not gonna like it. You know, we're not going to like what that is. But a lot of times, the things that we don't like, the things that irritate us can be the best thing. We know what we want. We know what we want. But a lot of times, what you want is not what you deserve. You know? But a lot of times, if you're open to be that, what, you, what, what, you, what you're entertaining and what you're being open to receive from the universe, be something that that's what was deserving of you. You know? And it, it was a lot of times, you know, universe can sit up here and say... When you want different things in your life, sometimes you're thinking too small when we got something so extraordinary for you. And you're learning that through breaking bread with different things in your life. So don't ever get mad because you broke bread with the wrong people. Or don't get mad at yourself because maybe you, you, you weren't loving yourself at the time and you were willing to accept anything. But if you're learning this... And you're allowing yourself to say, hey, I'm doing this. I'm being more assertive with myself. Being more aggressive. Because if you know you want somebody to be in your life, they're going to treat you right. And it doesn't just have to be a love life. This is going to be through everything. When you allow yourself to not entertain anything, you, you, the game ends when you stop playing. And put it that way. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video, y'all. I would love to give a post notification. Shout out to S. Harris. Much love to you as well. Ten, uh, Ten Doom, much love to you. Mr. Wonderful. Coco Riley, much love to you. And Moonai, the philosopher, much love to you. If you're new to my channel, welcome. It's so good to have you. Please drop a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. I'll leave all my contact information in the description box below, as well as my link to my podcast. It's all about, you know, um, when you're contacting me, it's all about spiritual networking. You know, maybe you want to share what your experiences are that you've been going through. And you know, I'm um, just trying to find your way, or you're just wanting a different under you know, a deeper understanding, or you just trying to find somebody that can be on that same vibe as you, and that's yeah, it's all beautiful. And whatever we discuss is uh confidential and you know, discreet. You know, whatever we speak on is is private and it stays there, and I help out the best way I can, you know, either through experience or what universe has gotten me to uh, discuss with you. And you know, um, even if you feel generous enough to give a donation, I'll also leave my, my cash addresses, uh, cash app addresses there as well. And I hope you're having a blessed weekend. I can't believe it's about to be Friday already. I'm like, oh my God, this, this, this week don't went by fast. It just, I'm, I'm glad I'm being constructive right along with it so I can move right along with it. But anyways, you be safe. Whatever you're trying to manifest into your life, you know it's going to be so much bigger and better. You know I'm claiming that for you. You just you truly deserve it. Especially if you've been working and it's just been moving slower than molasses on a cold winter morning. You just don't know how it's moving in a, in a frequency. Especially if you're seeing 444. You never know what's going behind the scenes. So keep moving. Keep, keep being consistent. Be, be persistent with yourself. If you need to take a pause for the cause, you do that. But don't give up on yourself. Don't sleep on yourself like that because you never know what's truly, you know, truly deserving of you. And it can be sooner than you ever expect this. So keep going. And even through social distancing, make sure you give out love, light, positivity, words, by frequencies. You never know. All those things to really take somebody a long way. And even just for you taking that time out to help somebody can take you even further. So make sure you being safe and being responsible. And God bless. Love you. Namaste. Talk to you later.